Hi friends, this is Sharda from MSCS Pioneer Jagatgir Kutta campus. Today we are going to discuss about computer networking. Computer. Computer is nothing but it is an electronic device which takes the input, process it and gives the output for, to us. For example, preparation of tea. In this we will check what is input and how it process it and, how, and what the output we will get. Okay. Input means what we will take for, for the preparation of tea. We will take milk, tea powder, water and sugar. Right? It is an input products and processing. In processing what we will do? We will get, we, uh, it will be boiled. Right? Mm. And output? Output is nothing but what the product we have done. We will get that product. We, what we have done? We have done the preparation of tea. Finally, the output is tea only. We have discussed about computer. The remaining is network. Network is nothing but it is a set of devices connected by the media link. Media link is nothing but it is a communication channel which the two devices has been an inter interconnection. We have completed the definition of computer networking. Now we will discuss about the com data communication. Data communication is nothing but exchange of two devices. Let us discuss about the components of data communication. In data communication, we have five, five types of components. They are message, sender, receiver, medium and protocol. What is meant by sender? Sender is nothing but the one who sends the message to another person. It, he is known as sender. Receiver is nothing but the message which he has been received from the sender. The third component is message. Message is nothing but data to be communicated via using text message or video calls which we are using in our daily life and pictures etc. And the fourth component is medium. Medium is nothing but it is a physical path by the which the message travel from sender to receiver. It consists of wireless transition medium protocol. Protocol is nothing but it is a set of rules that given data communication without a protocol which receivers may be connected but they cannot be communicated with each other. Means it is nothing but the two devices may be connected but they cannot be communicated with each other. To understand this briefly, let us see the flowchart. Sender, Receiver, Message, Medium, Protocol. Let us see an example of data communication. Here we have a diagram that sender, receiver, message, medium and protocol. Here the information is passing between the two devices with a medium and we have a protocol with set of rules and in this way the data can be communicated easily. Thank you for giving this wonderful opportunity.